I'm uh, Dennis Gonzalez. Within the, we're in the middle of uh, Alberto Belmez's uh, papaya farm. I was born and raised on a sugar plantation in North Kohala. And my specialty uh, as a scientist is on plant viruses. In 1978, actually, um, Hawaii asked me to try to help them to uh, develop a control measure for papaya ring spot virus. Uh, here in Keao, the virus was not here yet in 1978, but in Hilo, only about nine miles away, the virus was there. So the dean of the college asked me, what would happen if the virus comes into Keao and, and into the Kapoho and Puna? I said, you probably will get severe damage. So based on that potential, we started the research way back in 1978. Oh, my name is Alberto Belmes, a uh, papaya farmer. I've been start farming since 1983 to now. Actually, at first, when I just started, I mean, borrow money, uh, about 50,000 to federal government. Then I, I plant uh, quite a bit of acreage for this uh, solo papaya, and then all wipe out with the virus. In uh, 1984, that's when we started the serious objective of developing a genetically engineered papaya. And uh, the hypothesis or the approach, very simply, it was like vaccination. The idea was that if you could get a small part of the pathogen, in this sense, uh, papaya ring spot virus, get it into the chromosome of the papaya, then you would make the papaya resistant to the papaya ring spot virus. So, so this was all ideas in 1984. Then in May 1992, the long-awaited invasion of papaya ring spot into Puna occurs. And the state of Hawaii starts an immediate action to try to eradicate it. Uh, I'm so uh, upset if, you know, I mean, this bill goes through and I'm so worried how, how I can support my family to go college if, you know, if they slash all the gimo papaya. I wish the public uh, uh, research more in regards with these rainbow papayas. I get involved in this one because the papaya story to me is a story about uh, doing something to help people. I, I had retired in uh, December 2012 and I started to pick up my golf game and when I saw this Bill 79, this said exemption for the papaya, but it had to be grown under BSL-3 conditions, which is conditions that is impossible to grow papaya. You almost got to grow it in a greenhouse. So it, it, it made me feel sad. My idea is that you, you really can coexist if you want. It, it, it would seem to me that one needs to figure out how we could make uh, Hawaii more food secure using organic uh, farming, conventional farming, and transgenic farming, or transgenic crops, and, and maybe other means to try to figure out so that the farmers can make more money, we can have more food security, and, and potentially in, uh, import less food. But it, it takes communication, and it takes uh, really dialogue, meaningful dialogue, rather than just idealistic uh, approaches.